Hi, welcome to Got Photo. And in this demo, we'll walk through the photographer's admin area, the central hub for managing all your photo jobs. If this is your first time here at Got Photo, you'll see here we're on the photographer's dashboard, the first thing you see when you log in. There's the checklist at the top. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to get you set up and you're ready to get rolling once you check off all those items. The most exciting part about the dashboard though is as I scroll down, you'll see key metrics that show you the health of your jobs and your account. The revenue flows, number of orders, average order value, login rates, and order rates. And you'll see below that the latest jobs to let you know if you have jobs set to selling, also the metrics for those specific jobs. Let's jump over to the most important tab, the photo job area. This is the central hub for everything you need to do in God Photo, where you manage all your photo shoots. But I wanna show you how to create a job, and it's quite easy. Over on the top right, you'll see the blue Create New Job button. I click there, I enter a job name, select the date of the photo job, and then you need to do your job type. This is to help you categorize and sort reporting. We'll select elementary school. All different type of jobs can be done in God Photo. That's it, those three data points, job name, date of picture day, and that job type. I click Save Photo Job. And now I'm dropped in to that specific job. I'll click back out to Photo Jobs. And you can see now I have Got Photo Elementary School here with what status it's in, which is in the planning mode, all jobs start in planning, that type we set, and then some key metrics here, date of shoot, activation date, archiving date, coupons, deadline. We'll touch on those later as those are key dates that help drive our communication profile, those emails and SMS messages that go out to potential buyers. I'm gonna jump back in, I'll click open. And here, this is where we set everything up and manage everything we need for this specific photo job. You see I started on the settings tab. There's also tagging, photo management, photo editing, communication, statistics, and orders all tabs that you will use throughout the job's life cycle. First things first though, we need to set up some basic things. First, I wanna turn on the new shop, which is showing great success. And then as I scroll down, the first decision I need to make is access type. Most jobs that you do, you're gonna want access code for each person. The access code in Got Photo is that unique key that identifies the subject to their data. It also ties back into the QR codes and it's also what the parents use to log into the shopping cart. And working with an access code for each person allows us to create a secure and private gallery for each subject. So we'll do access code for each person and then we need to choose a method. And we're gonna do QR tagging with list of names. This is where we get that data file that CSV or XLS from the preschool, from the school that has those key data points. This type of document where we've got the student first name, the student last name, the grade, the teacher, the student ID number, and also the parent contact information, which is so important. So we'll do QR tagging with list of names, and then we need to upload that file. So we'll click upload. It's gonna, we're gonna wanna go to our file. We select it, we click open. And if we've used the Got Photo template that has all the headers already properly named, you won't have to do the matching step of selecting what I want my headers to, to map to. It'll automatically do it for me. We'll say, yes, I came across this contact information legally. We can see here everything that it's going to import, map to the right fields, and we'll click start import. And this will take a few moments as it loads in these 25 records. And as you can see, the data is loaded in. I now have my list of names in, my 25 rows of subjects that I'm going to be photographing. And as I scroll down, you'll see that access code I mentioned generated. 
and the QR codes that we make shortly will be linked back to that access code. Everything looks good here. So I'll jump over to the tagging tab now. This is where I generate my QR cards. The QR cards are an optical capture method where I've got a QR code that I photograph and then I photograph the subject. And every image I take after that QR card is going to be associated to the data that that QR code represents. Next subject comes up, take their QR code, take a picture of it, so on and so forth. And I do that throughout the photo job. If I click edit QR card layout, GotPhoto has several great designs. I'm gonna use the half page kids in neutral. I've already loaded my logo in, added my contact information and set the job sorted by teacher and stack sort so the cards are easy to print out and separate. And we'll see shortly here, the cards are generating. The cards make a great marketing piece. So I can photograph the card, photograph the subject, and then make sure that QR card goes home with the child. Eileen's parent pulls the card out of their backpack and they see all the information ready to go here. So I've got these cards, the file that I've just pulled up, I can print those out, cut them, and now I'm ready to go to the photo shoot. I've done everything I need for picture day. We've set up the job, we've loaded the names list, we've generated the QR cards. Go to the photo shoot, I photograph my subjects, and from there, once I'm done, come back, download my photos, and you'll have something that looks like this. We have my photos of the QR cards, the photos of my subjects, ready to load into God Photo to continue the process. Now that we've got the first job online and the account set up, I do want to touch on a few settings, primarily here under the online shop tab and shop settings that are really set up your account for success. The first thing to look at is logo and design here at the top. Make sure you load in your studio's logo and update the text for logo and the page title, as well as your primary color. That'll be the call to action color in the shop. That'll give the shop that much more professional look and feel. And you can start to tie it in to your brand appearance. If I click over to language, GotPhoto has a lot of languages available. Always recommend having English and Spanish available as options. If I click on pages and menus, if you want to change the background image of the main page, again, making it more customized to your brand. You can do that here under the pages and menu and the login tab. I'll click on shop settings. This is where you can control a couple of features. The main one to look at is the purchasing steps. If you do a large number of images, say you're a senior photographer, this is where you could always have the purchasing steps show the photos first. I always recommend to have it on automatic, but some photographers do like that control. Under the headers tab, recommend to always come in here and check always show language selector. That way on any page in the shop, it can be switched from English to Spanish, just not on that first page. And if you wanna, again, personalize the pages, keep that school preschool approved seal, show available payments or not, you can uncheck those here as well. This is where you can add your own custom watermarks and then under domain, your subdomain, here you see linscoggin.gotphoto.com, you can set that accordingly. And if you want it to be part of your personal domain, if it's linscogginphotography.com, for example, you can go through that process and set that up. The next four, not necessary for what you're doing, but I would like you to look down here at the sales section. Payment methods, very important. If you've set up Stripe Express as you've gone through the onboarding, do make sure you have Google Apple Pay set up. Make sure you take a look at your invoice settings and that those are accurate. Should be your business details. And if you jump over to advanced invoice settings, 
make sure you add the logo for the invoice receipt that goes out. And if you want to add some personalization, uh, an additional thank you or additional information on that receipt, you can do so there as well. Tax setting tab, no longer needed. Got Photo is a marketplace facilitator. We handle the calculation, collection, and remission of taxes that go through the Got Photo account. And if I click on download settings, if you're doing a lot of download alls or individual downloads, you can have a print release, that copyright release, and have it customized, included as a PDF in the download file. I also mentioned there's a couple things on the communications tab that you should take care of as well when you're setting up the account. Go over to email settings. You'll want to personalize this. Make sure you put in a sender name, which could be your name or your studio's name, that you've got the correct reply to in there, that you've got a great signature and your logo is attached. And then always, always, always jump in here. First thing you need to do, click get started, register for a Twilio account. Twilio is our partner to send SMS. So you do have to go through this process. They wanna make sure you're a legitimate business that you're not going to be sending spam. So you do have to give them some business information that they verify you and then the account is unlocked for SMS. With those settings in place, you have done some of the best practices to make your shop look great and all those little touch points with your potential buyers are that much more professional. You look the part and they will be really excited to look at the photos and make a purchase.